Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why there is increased incidence of renal stones formation in hyperparathyroid patients. Let's try to understand the reason behind it. So what happens in hyperparathyroid patients? First, let's try to understand what does parath hormone which is secreted by the parathyroid hormone normally do. Normally, the parath hormone acts in three places that is the bone, GIT and the kidneys. In the bone, what it does is it increases bone resorption and it deposits this calcium in the blood. So, it is basically bringing the calcium levels from the bone to the blood. And what does it do in the GAT? It causes increase in reabsorption of calcium. And what does it do in the kidney? In kidney also, it increases the calcium reabsorption. So, all these three places, the calcium is being resorbed and it is brought into the blood. So, overall levels in the blood, it is going to be increased. But why renal stones? When this increased calcium loads is there, this calcium will be sent to the kidneys for excretion. So, there is an increase in load of calcium to the renal system. And because of this increased load to the renal system, there is formation of calcium crystals which all leads on to the renal stones. And that is why in hyperparathyroid patients, renal stones is very common because of the increased load of calcium to the renal system. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.